This video explains how to reprogram the flash memory built in the microcomputer. Renesis Electronics Corporation provides the following ways to reprogram the contents of flash memories built in the microcomputer. There is an external tool called the Flash Program R such as PGFP6 or RFP, as well as the Flash Library and the Flash Driver such as FCL, FDL and RFD. The Flash Library and Flash Driver are software programs for actualizing the so-called self-programming via which the contents of the flash memories are reprogrammed by the user program. To understand why such software is needed, it is necessary to know about the flash memory. The flash memory is a non-volatile memory that can hold its contents even when the power is turned off. The flash memory can be classified into two types as a code flash memory and a data flash memory. The program code is allocated in the former, and the data that we want to keep even when the power is turned off is allocated in the latter. In addition, the contents of the flash memory can be reprogrammed. This characteristic is very useful when updating the program code or updating to new data. Here, this video will explain the principles of the flash memory installed in the microcomputer using a simple illustration. There are cells of a flash memory bit by bit. When the cell is filled with electric charges, it means 1 or erased, and when the cell is emptied out, it means 0. To fill the cell with an electric charge is to apply high voltage on the upper side, so it can suck up the electric charge with the negative polarity. To empty out the electric charge from the cell is to apply high voltage on the lower side. If the power is turned off while applying the voltage, the electric charge in the cell will remain halfway and it may not be possible to judge whether the cell means 0 or 1. Therefore, it is necessary to apply voltage for a sufficient time to ensure that 0 or 1 can be judged. Also, after filling all the cells with electric charges and emptying out the electric charges of the cell that should be set to 0, it enables programming of data. These are the principles of the flash memory. The following are two characteristics of the flash memory. The first feature is that the erasure unit is large. The contents of the flash memory cannot be erased bit by bit. The size that the flash memory can erase in a single process depends on the flash memory capacity. For a small capacity product like RL78G23, the erasing size of the code flash memory is 2 kilobytes and that of the data flash memory is 256 bytes. For a large capacity product like RH850U2A16, the erasing size of the code flash memory is 64 kilobytes and that of the data flash memory is 4 kilobytes. Therefore, even when a portion of the code is to be reprogrammed, it is necessary to erase all including the portions cannot be reprogrammed and reprogram it again. Another feature is that erasing and programming to flash memories can take a long time. For RL78G23, it takes an average of 15 milliseconds to reprogram 256 bytes data in the data flash memory. For RH850U2A16, it takes an average of 20 milliseconds to reprogram 4 kilobytes data in the data flash memory. These are how long it takes to execute hundreds of thousands to millions of microcomputer instructions. Therefore, it is necessary to devise a way to execute another user program so that the system does not stop during the reprogramming process. Also, reprogramming the code flash memory means to reprogram the area where the program code is located. Therefore, it is necessary to take measures such as executing a program on RAM other than the area to be reprogrammed. These are the two characteristics of the flash memory. The following is flash system. Erasing and programming the flash memory are managed by the flash system in the microcomputer. Erasing and programming the flash memory require unique steps through this flash system. It is the flash library and flash driver that interact with the flash system. By using these software programs, it becomes easier to operate the flash memory, and the development period of the customer can be shortened. In the next video, it will explain the types and usage of flash libraries and flash drivers.